In 2018, Consumer Reports conducted a survey of over 17,000 of its subscribers to determine which hearing aid brands have the best overall performance. So in this video, I'm going to go over the results and tell you what I think. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Anthem, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Consumer Reports does a pretty good job of reviewing different consumer products, anything from vehicles to appliances to, yes, you guessed it, even hearing aids. And they conducted a recent survey to determine among their subscribers which hearing aid brands had the best overall performance. Like I mentioned before, their survey results were based on over 17,000 of their subscribers in order to find the best overall performance based on 12 different criteria. These criteria include battery life, ease of charging or changing batteries, ease of cleaning, value, reliability, fit and comfort, visibility to others, sound clarity, one-on-one -on -one conversation and noise, talking in small groups, talking on a cell phone, and listening to the television or radio. Their survey results identified 16 different hearing aid brands ranging anywhere from 67 points all the way up to 76 points out of 100 total points. And without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get into the rankings. And tied for last place with 67 points, we have New Ear and Bell Tone. Then in seventh place, we have Miracle Ear with 69 points. Tied for sixth place with 70 points, they have AGX Hearing, Starkey, Bernafon, Unitron, and Audibel. In fifth place, they have Liberty with 72 points. In fourth place, they have Rexton with 73 points. Tied for third place, they have Resound, Widex, Phonak and Oticon, each with 74 total points. In second place, they have Signia with 75 points. And in first place, they have the Kirkland brand with 76 points. Now, according to the Consumer Reports survey, a reader's score of 100 points would mean all the respondents are completely satisfied with their hearing aids. 80 points would indicate that respondents are very satisfied with their hearing aids. And 60 points would indicate that respondents are somewhat satisfied on average with their hearing aids. Consumer Reports also mentioned that differences less than four points are not meaningful in this survey. So if we look at the top performers on this list, we would see that there's no significant difference in overall performance between Kirkland, Signia, Oticon, Phonak, Widex, Resound, and Rexton. And the same goes for the bottom end of the scale, where we have New Ear, Bell Tone, Miracle Ear, AGX, Starkey, Bernafon, Unitron, and Audibel. Now, if you're a member of Consumer Reports, you can go onto their website and actually rank these brands based on what criteria is most important to you. So if reliability of a hearing aid is the most important factor for you when deciding which hearing aid to go with, you can actually click on the reliability tab and it will reorder the rankings of these devices. And one of the things that I found is that they end up coming out pretty close to what their overall ranking was anyway, no matter which selection you pick. Now, as nice as it is to have a huge sample size of over 17,000 individuals completing this survey, there are two issues that I have with it. And first is that Consumer Reports admits that this data is only based on Consumer Reports members who may not be representative of the general U.S. population. Anytime you're looking at survey data, it's important to be able to make generalizations of that data so you can extrapolate it out across the entire population so you can actually get an understanding of what different people in different regions of different gender and all of that think about different hearing devices. And when you don't make your survey data representative of the entire population, you can't actually take that data and think that it would be suitable for different people in these different regions. And it's kind of like, think about music. If you go to Nashville, Tennessee, and you ask a bunch of people, what is the best genre of music? I would bet you that they would tell you that country music is the best genre. But you can't just take that and assume that everyone in the entire country, no matter where you're from, thinks that country music is the best music. I mean, some people would think in certain regions that maybe rap music is the best music. Then you've got people in different regions that think rock music is the best music. Since all of this data was collected from a sample of individuals who probably are all very like-minded since they're all subscribers to Consumer Reports, you can't take that data and assume that different groups of people would feel the same about their hearing aids. 
And second, and even more concerning, is that many of the brands in this survey are actually the same brand. Now bear with me on this one. There are 16 brands that are listed in this survey, but these 16 brands are all owned by seven different companies. That means that there are multiple brands inside of each company, and some of these brands are actually identical to each other. Savantos owns Rexton, Signia, Kirkland, and AGX brands. Sonova owns Phonak and Unitron brands. Starkey owns Starkey, Audible, and AGX brands. GN owns Resound, Belltone, and AGX brands. William DeMont owns Oticon, Bernafon, and AGX brands. Widex owns Widex and AGX brands, and Liberty is the Liberty brand. Now let's take a closer look at the AGX brand since five of these seven brands actually have the AGX brand with their hearing devices. So let me explain what I mean by this. You have certain hearing aids and those hearing aids can be rebranded with different brands. And this is what AGX does quite literally. You can have an Oticon hearing aid, an identical Oticon hearing aid. They just take the Oticon name off of it and put AGXO on it and it's Still the same hearing aid, just has a different name. You can do the same thing for Resound. You can take the Resound name off of a hearing aid, put AGXR on it, and now you have two different brands of hearing aids that are identical devices. And you can do the same with even Starkey. You can take Starkey off of the device and you can put AGXS on it, and you have two identical devices with two different brand names. So if we're talking about identical hearing aids, then how are we getting different scores for those hearing aids? I mean, AGX ranks at the bottom of this list and all of the brands that actually have AGX branded hearing aids are all ranking at the top of the list. So how does that actually happen? I mean, shoot, Belltone hearing aids tied for last place and Resound got third place. And these are basically the same hearing aids with different names stamped on them. All right, guys, overall, I like the Consumer Reports is trying to give us some more information about different brands and being able to compare them. But really, at the end of the day, there are some just major flaws that make no sense. I would have to really get behind the scenes to understand how they conducted the survey and why they chose to do things in certain ways. But really, it's almost an impossible task to just compare technology to technology because it really comes down to how well a hearing care provider is actually going to fit you with whatever device they're gonna fit you with. I truly believe that the devices even on the bottom end of this scale could significantly outperform the devices that are on the very high end of the scale if the hearing care provider that you're working with is following best practices and doing things like real ear measurement to ensure that those devices are fit properly for you. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you wanna see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.